This is Gavrock Fevenor welcoming you to Let's Play Spelunky in my fifth, I believe, video with... The guy who can teleport the Spelunky man into the strange unknown area. Yes, you'll notice I'm in a completely different space as before. Uh, that's because we recorded over time, and when we record over time using uh, Ustream, we can't use the video because uh, I can't... Windows Movie Maker and Virtual Dub and all of those video editing software that don't require you to pay for them do not accept the video unless you convert it a whole bunch of times so much so that uh, the audio desync is about two minutes off so um, none of you would want to watch that so we just had to scrap the video even though we only went over by one minute a little annoying such is the way of things yes. in any event we bore with that matoc through this ground right here Yes. And then jumped up and killed that guy there, and then bore through to another place of Madhawk ground. And that eliminated all the lava from this area, thus rendering it safe for Spelunky Man. Yes, only now we realize that there's actually not much here, which is somewhat discouraging. There's Depressing. A, there's a mummy up there, and there's... Oh, you know what a mummy always drops? Bugger. I'm trying to get up there, but I don't think I can, actually. Oh, uh, you know what? Heck with it. You're just getting wounded. Just cut your losses and go for the fish. Yeah, but we may Which have they may not have seen. We may have to kill all the enemies in order to get through here, so we may have to That's use the Matok up there. Go to the other place and use... Yeah, Matok up there. Just be careful, because... Have you ever encountered a giant mummy before? I have not. Basically, they, they have giant locusts that spit out of their mouth and they come flying at you in a critical pattern shoot, flying like boomerangs. You want a Matok and then quickly run away. If you can, jump and use a Matok to get height over him. Uh, is that safe? I, uh, I, it should be. It... Won't let me. Ah. Uh... Just be careful and get out of there. Yeah. I don't think he saw me. He didn't see you. His back was turned. He must patrol the length of his hallway before he turns around. Good. Is he going to be able to walk through there? I doubt it. No, Whoops. he can't walk uh -oh. through one space. Be careful. Yep. Oh man. I don't think you can get up there without using another rope now. Oh, what? <laughs> Careful, careful, careful. Shoot and run. He's, Shoot and run. He's gone. Stick he's, and gone. Move. he's gone. He's uh, gone. Uh, Climbing yeah, gloves. Drop it? He didn't drop it, did he? he no, did. you have the sticky gloves now, don't you? Yeah, you can climb. What were you hoping him drop? I was hoping you would drop a super weapon. That's basically a great big bubble blower. A great big bubble blower. I don't know any other way to describe it. It's like ancient Aztec weaponry. That's like the best weapon in the game. Even above the shotgun. Can you believe it? Above the shotgun. <gasps> Dear God. That's amazing. It homes in, it goes through walls, it hits enemies, and it sends them up to the ceiling until they die. Now, I can only pray here that we can use five more Matox. If only. Six more it would be preferable or, uh, at the most, but I'll settle for five because the damsel is not that important. Unless you have to save the damsel to win, Three if more. you try to go through the door without her, you don't simply One die. More. Yes! What'd you say? Yes! What about dying if you don't have the damsel? I don't know, it might be a, a trick situation, a trap door or something. Sending the damsel through first will have the damsel die, but I don't even know if that's possible to code into this game. Right now, I'm just going to my chaotic theories here. No. Oh, Christ. Got him. Uh, There's a caveman what, down oh. there. What the? And the fish. But beware, a big fish. I know, big fish. Big fish. It's a move named that. So I'm going to see if I can get the big fish There's to come up. There's a map that, too. I want the big fish to come up. I want big fish is coming up. <laughs> uh. You know, the big fish appears on the rushing water levels, if you're stupid enough to jump into the water at the bottom of the level. 
I'm probably gonna die here. I'm not sure if you've encountered him yet. Get out of there! Oh, jeez. It's like Rocket Dolphin versus Super Piranha. Oh, those bloody climbing gloves are annoying me. Uh, on the plus side, you can see his battle damage. His bones are becoming exposed. Good. Well, that is hurting. I think this guy has the second most health in the game. Oh, well, he's dead. Yes. Yes! Victory over fish! And that's pretty much everything dead, too, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. Because there's no exit. Um. That's the caveman dead. Um, that right. idol, is that gonna spawn something for me? Bombs! Um. Huh. Ropes! Bombs! What's that thing? Maybe. What's uh, that? That's a teleporter. If you use it, you might teleport past walls, but it's too random to be reliable. I recommend dropping it and getting your shotgun back. Is that a machete? It might be. It's still less reliable than a shotgun. Now... Well... What's the best strategy for making that thwomp move? Um, bombs from above. I... no, no, you have way too few bombs. Just sticky bomb that wall and then climb out. Sticky bomb the wall immediately to the left of it, and then climb out. Ah. Here. And if you do climb out, I advise climbing over towards the jungle area so you can quickly drop down. What you mean, bombing here? Um, you know where the abomination, abominable snowman person is? Yes. Yes, like stand right on top of him, fire a bomb at the wall, it'll stick, because you have sticky bombs, and then run no, to the left and climb down. No, no, run, run, go. You need to launch it, apparently. Drop your gun in this pit. Oh, that worked, nonetheless. Okay, now go below it and then climb up. Oh, okay, yes. below it, right. That got rid of it. Yes, Course. it is gone for good. Unless we need to go back down there. There doesn't seem yes. to be anything here, though. How do we get out of here? I know, it's the strangest level. Yeah. Well, if Maybe, this... now that everything is dead, every... you know where that uh, spike totem area was? Maybe all those will be gone. All of them, because we killed all the extra bosses. Maybe. You know oh. how some of them vanished? They vanished when I touched them, though, not when I... Oh. Um, well, this will be really care You have to be careful here. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Throw a bomb over to the far left so it'll explode the spikes. It'll explode the spikes? Yeah, we'll get rid of the ground the spikes are on, thus get ridding the world of the spikes. Unless it's six of the wall. Ah. Uh, higher up. Higher up. Oh, that's one less wall to rue the world. I don't know oh, what you're trying whoops. to do. I was hoping to throw the bomb to a, but a shorter level, but it didn't. Uh, this is dangerous. A little bit, yeah. Okay, well, you have the um, powers of the internet. You can always Google what happens in this level to see if there's a secret. Hmm, that is possible, but then I must take my eyes off of this video. It's much too entrancing. I know, but we've only got a, a minute left, so we could just cut off the video a minute short. Alright, let's see here. Google. Okay, uh, with that, this is Gavrock Fevenor and Baltic McGamma saying, Fairly well.